All right, it's the day after Labor Day 2023, and the 60s painted. So uh, we've recorded a lot. Uh, didn't record a whole lot of the clear process because, man, it was, it was pretty foggy in here. I didn't want to damage the camera. But uh, I just wanted to uh, throw a disclaimer out there is that uh, we're, we are not painters, but we do paint, if that makes sense. So that being said, the car is, is, is painted. There is some dirt nibs and, and dust nibs. So, you know, I know, I know a lot of people get upset about that type of stuff, but it's, it's really impossible to get a 100% clean paint job in a garage like this that I mean, we literally cut a quarter panel off a car last weekend. So give you a quick walk around here of the finished product and then, and then we'll get into the video. Everything is in uh, three coats of Lessinol and, uh, and three coats of Euro Clear. We had just enough clear. Actually, it had too much clear and not enough hardener. So I had to stretch it a little bit. I think the last coat might have been reduced four to one to two, four to one, one and a half, something like that, to stretch it. Uh, and we had two ounces of clear left after this job. So cutting it really close. I think I'm gonna flow coat it just because, uh, not the whole thing. You know, there's no need to flow coat door jams and stuff like that, but, but big panels, I think we are, man. So two-tone stripe, which the video just uploaded for that process. Fenders, doors, balance, cruiser skirts. We sprayed the clear at 30 PSI. We didn't get any runs. So that's great. So, that being said, <clears throat> oh, a firewall. I'm liking everything. I love the color. I really love the two-tone stripe. It's going to match the interior. It's going to go with the top. Really, really like it, man. I think the job came out, came out pretty clean. We'll turn the light on on this side here. So, we're looking at about approximately 400 man hours 425 man hours to to get to this point on the body only not talking the frame that's a whole different project uh, and when I say man hours I'm talking if I got if I if, if a friend comes over and help me you know his time counts too so if me and Bobby put the quarter panel on or something for a 10, a 10 hour Saturday, you know, that's 20 man hours because that's, it would take me twice as long if I did it by myself, which I can't do it by myself. So like I say, uh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So, just a disclaimer, you know what I mean? We're, we're not painters, but we do paint. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. It's gonna be a long one. It's probably gonna be, you know, probably an hour. I gotta do a lot of editing, but Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more work. All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel here. It is Saturday, September 2nd, 2023. It's Labor Day weekend. And it's going to be a good weekend here. This is going to be the beginning of the paint process for the 60. I've been, here, been out here for about half an hour moving stuff around. Today we're going to... Uh, guide coat and wet sand basically everything that's left which is doors the fenders the top side of the hood and trunk which have been sitting over here they've been sitting for about two weeks like this out in the sun so this paint is plenty cure so it's ready to mask and flip over so we're going to sand the top sides and the shell the shell's been in here Say where we left off, we painted the stripe. <clears throat> ACs are blowing, man. It's 70 degrees. Feels great. So, need to uh, a uh, guy coat wet sand the shell, the firewall, then mask everything off, which is why I have these ACs on overnight, so that we can come back in here and mask off in comfort. And then uh, I got to move everything out the shop. We're going to be painting it in the shop next door. We 
gonna be painting it in this over here so all this has got to come out which really not much a lot of stuff is on wheels uh, that way we can paint everything in one lick we plan on doing that on Monday and we got to get everything set up and situated and sweep and water down and everything it's gonna be an all-day event so I want to get an early start anyways let me bring you guys back once we start getting some sanding done All right, we're back. Bobby showed up. The first thing he did was go grab the camera instead of grabbing a hand block. <laughs> Fenders are done. Doors are almost done. One door is done. He's almost done with that door. Hood is almost done with 400. And then go over with 600. But, uh,. Stuff sands really easy, man. Like, let me show you. So, Sunlight 400 on a black diamond, an SPI 2K, regular build, regular build primer. Let's see how quick it takes this guy coat off. Easy, just like me. Yep. I think we'll be down West Sanding by lunch, man. And then you gotta remask the oh that's what you could do, Bobby. Take the take the masking off the roof rack. You gotta remask the roof rack, remask the dash. Hold on, Bobby's gonna work No, we're gonna push it out. <laughs> push it out. <laughs> yeah. Because we need it for So man, we've been at it since seven. Johnny's back, finally back. Back, back. You know what I'm doing, Bobby? You know what I'm doing? Nope. No? Can you explain to me? No, no, no. I want you to. Come on. In the simplest terms, what do you think I'm doing? You are taking off the finer scratches. <laughs> this right here. So we did guide coat 400, and now uh, we're in 600. So we're, we're about finished. That like you're smooth. You gotta dry it off real good. And smooth like your head? Yes. Yeah, that's that's 1,000 grit, 1,500, and then the buffer. All right, we'll be back. What are we doing, man? Working. Bobby doing? Drinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> West Santa 400. This is all that's left. I'm not taking it all down because it's gonna go 600. So I'm leaving, you know, leaving some guide coat. It takes off the stripes so we don't scratch it. So it's almost ready. Yeah, it's gonna be Good. ready. Gotta wash it after this. Let it dry in the sun. Our masking, which really there ain't much mask other than the dash on the top rack. Me and Bobby been cleaning the, the shop out. Clean the shop out. Just trying to get as clean a job as possible. John, how we doing on that firewall, man? Pretty good, man. About done with the 400. 
Mm. A little bit more with the 400 here, and then we'll go back with the 600 hit rate. Hey, so these are the kits that you sell? That's one, yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's a lot of work. Yeah, once you get it welded and body work, you know. But at least it gives you a, an idea of what it. Well, that was a little different because we took the wiper motor out. Yeah, you have it. Took a couple more pieces. Okay. So whenever somebody wants a 59 or 60, I, rec I recommend just a two piece. Keep the wiper because if not, it's, it's a lot of work. A lot of a lot of people keep the wiper. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you got to understand, man, folks, folks live in different parts of the country, man. They need water or they need a heater. You know, True. We always delete the heater. We don't need no heater. Need AC, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Going from the Black Diamond. It's really flexible. Or it could be stiff if you put the rods in. That's a sheet What? Huh? <laughs> Bobby make the jokes or what? So we're gonna paint everything in one lick. Skirts, hood, trunk, doors, fenders, ballots, shell. I hope you have enough beer. So it's the beer between every coat or what? <laughs> At least. At least. But I'm doing that so that the so that there's no variance in the in the color. Like you don't want to paint the doors today and the shell in a month, and then it'd be a different color. Okay. Well, it'd be a different color. Humidity, temperature. It's not a variable. The way you lay the door, the orientation that you set it. You spray the door flat, and this is vertical. The metallics are going to lay different on the flat. So when you go to put the door, it might look a little off. Okay. So you want to spray it how it goes on the car. Mm -hmm. So we'll hang the doors. The trunk and hood will be flat. We'll hang the fenders. We'll hang the skirts for Make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to put uh, some guide code right here under your eyes like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on your nose already. Get them yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice and ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that way they know it's game time, man. Okay. <laughs> I have Bobby put it on for me. Even better. Either that or he's going to rob somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Make it happen. Let him know, man. Game time. Yeah, man. Bobby is the weekend. Alright. Bring y'all back. Yep. 51%. Alright, so we're back. It's 6 o'clock. It's been a long day. Been out here since 6 in the morning. We got everything done. Uh, so right now everything is in 600 grit, wet. Uh, we started with 400. We finished with 600. Everything, the whole car basically. Uh, so underneath the hood and the trunk we masked because it's already painted. So we masked it off. We're going to be painting these flat, kind of in orientation of the way they go on the car. Uh, nothing has been waxed and greased, so there might be some primer residue. We got the skirts mounted. We got kind of kind of crafty with the lift, but they're they're solid, and you can get around all sides. So both cruiser skirts. We got the we got the the balances ready to go. And uh, you got the keys. The windshield uh, caliper, that's ready to go. Um, you got the doors ready to go. Which, everything locked down really good. There's really not a whole lot of breakthrough. I mean, you got a little bit here. I believe that's epoxy. Uh, could be feather fill, but I want to say that's epoxy. Um, but other than that, no real breakthrough. So everything locked down pretty flat. So we, we kind of mounted these with a little contraption here with a with a with a mixing cup in the back. I don't know if you want to show that man, just to kind of keep it keep it vertical. So all we did was well we hung them with wire obviously. Used the mixing cup, drilled holes in, 
run the run the wire all the way across so to keep it from from blowing in whenever we go to spray yeah, the clear it'll be a slant yeah yeah it'll because once you start spraying clear at, at 30 psi or whatever it seems going to start moving so may or may not put you know tie it down with with wheels and tires or something i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes with the sealer fenders fenders are in 600 uh kind of masked off the rack here just to just to try and keep the dirt down as best as possible i'm sure this job's going to come out with some with some trash but i'm just trying to keep it as clean as possible with what we got uh and then the shell the shell was was quite a task but everything is in 600 i think this is the worst of it little breakthrough masked off the stripe Painted the stripe last weekend. I hadn't uploaded that yet, but it was painted and cleared. And it's been sitting in the 100 degree weather for a week. So it, it's plenty clear. So I went ahead and masked the whole thing. Back mask the top rack, just to kind of keep, like I said, keep the job clean. Remask the dash. And the whole jams, firewall. It was quite, it's a lot of work, man. Is the, this is a big car. This took, this took all day. Took all day. Used a uh, 3M, 600 grit 3M wet. Sunlight 400 grit wet. We used some of the black diamonds, we used some Duroblocks, and we just freehanded some areas. Some areas you can get away with freehand, you know, like, you know, little curves and stuff like that. You... All right, so our camera's overheating, but Got the station ready. Tomorrow I'm gonna come in, tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow night I'm gonna come in, maybe around, you know, after it cools off. And we're gonna seal, I'm gonna seal it with primer, epoxy primer, probably gonna reduce to 25%. Let that sit Sunday night, and then come in and go straight to our color. We got two gallons, which I don't think I'm gonna use two gallons, I might use one. Uh, Man, SBI I really need to start paying you, dude. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to use the less than all reducer with the base because that's what it calls for. I don't want to. The, the problem is, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the SPI reducer is better. But if you if you do this, the less than all base and the SPI reducer, and, and something funky happens, the uh, uh, less than all or the the paint shop, the paint store is going to throw their hands up and say you didn't use the product we sold you, or mm -hmm. you didn't use the product we recommended. Yeah. You use another product everything's out the window yeah so to keep it you know square i'm going to use their reducer but uh for the, as far as the clear i'm going to use the spi so we got two gallons of clear or actually about a gallon and a half and i got my tack rags got my wipes everything basically everything from that other room right over here so we're going to come in early on labor day and get it painted early 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 like we're gonna be spraying by 5 a.m. So that's the plan. But I think everything should go pretty good, man. I mean, following the steps that I always follow, hope for the best. Bring you guys back once I seal it. All right, all right. All right. We're back. It is now Sunday, September 3rd, it's the day before Labor Day. It's about six o'clock, 6 p.m. Still 95 degrees in here which is not that good. Uh, the shop being insulated is really holding in the heat. It's probably about middle 80s outside. So I'm debating on opening this door and let it cooling off, but uh, got everything staged. Well, we did this yesterday. We got everything masked. I just went over everything for the second time with a uh, wax and grease remover and rags coming back clean. So what I'm going to do is uh, I got the sealer mixed up. I had to do a little bit of math, but I mixed up 12 ounces of uh, epoxy, 12 ounces of epoxy, 12 ounces of activator six ounces of reducer to make 30 ounces so that's reduced 25 percent so i mixed up two that's 60 ounces that should be plenty so it's reduced 25 percent 
I'm going to let it sit. It's been sitting for about an hour. I'm going to let it sit for another two or three hours until uh, it cools off a little bit more. Come back in around 8 or 9 o'clock. I'm going to spray it with the Iwata Orange Cap 1.3. Um, and like I say, 60 ounces should be enough. I'm going to spray the hood, trunk, and everything in the, in the shell and everything first. And if I have enough, I'll do the jams and the firewall. The sealer at this point is not really necessary, I don't think, because it, there's a little breakthrough here and there, but you can actually spot seal that. There's no major breakthrough on the big panels. So it's just a precaution to promote adhesion. And uh, since I have the material, I might as well use it. So I just went through about 10 wipes. Let me show y'all the usual wipes. Get them on Amazon, used solvent-based wax and grease remover, used some Harbor Freight gloves. So nothing has touched this panel since, or any of these panels. So I'm gonna let this thing gas off. You always wanna let this stuff sit for maybe half an hour to an hour before you spray. This is for the overall. So we're taking every precaution we can to get the best, best the cleanest job and the best long lasting job we can get. So that being said, I'll bring you guys back here in a couple hours once we get spraying.
All right, all right. Man, I'm sweating like a pig in here. It's 10 o'clock, it's 86 degrees. Probably sweating because a little nervousness, but overall, turn the fan off. Overall, considering where I live, there's not many or any bugs. Uh, I dripped some sweat here, as you guys saw. I'm gonna wait for that to dry and hit that with a, with a thousand grit real quick and just repass that. But other than that, that's the only blim that I can see. It's just, man, I'm sweating. It's, it's a lot to spray for one person, but we got it done. We got it done. Really, really light coat. I mean, you can even see the spray pattern. It's so light, but that's, that's good. That's okay. We're just trying to get some adhesion. We're trying to get it uniform color. We're not trying to pile on a bunch of material. It shouldn't need a bunch of material at this point. Doors look great. Uh, one thing that I am gonna do before I go in is need a light in front of this firewall for sure because it's it's too dark too dark other than that I think the lighting is okay uh, hood I was really worried about dripping something on the hood but man nothing nothing okay so I'm gonna wait for this to dry here I'm gonna get a light get that set up for in the morning like I say, I'm gonna hit this with a thousand grit. I already got it. I already got it set up on my little table. Kind of, kind of try to think my way through scenarios uh, on stuff that I might need, which is uh, just a thousand grit scuff pad, uh, tweezers. You guys saw me reach for the tweezers. There was a little bug that landed, uh, but he made his way. He he, he bailed. So this is how much we have left. It's approximately about two to three ounces. So uh, we measured pretty good at 60 ounces. 60 ounces for one coat. Need to, need to remember that for tomorrow morning. As far as base coat, it's gonna take a little bit more than that to get a full coverage, because this isn't quite full coverage. So I'm thinking probably about 80 ounces per coat maybe, which got plenty. So. Let me get that light in here, get set up, scuff this down, wrap it up for the night, bring you guys back in the morning.